hi guys welcome to today's uh, video i want to take us through the slides on uh, support and movement in animals remember we had already started on uh, support and movement in fish so i want us to start looking at support and movement in animals specifically uh, i want to look at uh, mammals and on that we always look at the highest mammal that is the human beings now the mammal that is human beings are supported by an exo an endoskeleton and the endoskeleton normally uh, consists of uh, several parts one of them is the skull uh, that is what covers the head then we have the sternum that is around the chest region the chest region is joined at the back by ribs and at the front at the chest bone or what we call the sternum then we have the vertebral column which is uh, what we always refer to as uh, uh, the spinal cord so uh, with us we have that diagram on the skull we can see all those parts we have the eye sockets uh, those are simply depressions that uh, the eyes will always be uh, located or attached then uh, they are normally on the skull the skull has the lower jaw and uh, when you look at it uh, the lower jaw is uh, movable but uh, the upper jaw is rigid so we have that movement facilitated by uh, the lower jaw that is what brings about chewing we also have the neck vertebrae we'll be talking about those ones we have the cervical vertebrae around there uh, but uh, we're moving down we have the uh, thorax region that is where we are talking about uh, the sternum the sternum is uh, exactly this part in the middle of uh, the chest then we have connected to it from the back that is from the vertebral column at the ribs to the front of the sternum and then we have the lower region the abdomen the abdomen region where we are talking about the vertebra which is joined at uh, the rear end by what we call the pelvic girdle uh, that is what we are referring to as the hip girdle then the lower region we are talking about the lower limbs that we refer to as the legs so those are some of the parts we'll be looking at each and all those parts in details in our next lessons uh, generally when you're talking about the skull we are referring to uh, a, a part of the body that is part of the skeleton that is made up of the cranium and facial bones the cranium are the upper bones on the head, the head region, and this is what encloses the brain. And uh, normally the head, as much as most of the time it might not look uh, like it has joints, it has what we call immovable joints. This is what facilitates uh, absorption of shock in cases where you hit hard on a hard surface. It might not break because of those immovable joints. And then uh, at the posterior end, that is uh, at the lower end, it has uh, two smooth rounded uh, protuberances and occipital condyles these are simply points or at which we have fixing of the other bones to the skull so the condyles articulate with the atlas to form the hinge joint which permits for nodding of the head so we have the first bone that will join the skull to the neck region is what you're calling the atlas we'll be looking at uh, what you're calling the condyle in the atlas uh, in our next lessons now what about uh, the skull itself now when you look at it this is what you're talking about we're talking about the frontal lobe you can see the you can see the the joints the immovable joints these ones have said they facilitate these ones they facilitate uh, absorption of shock as the person is maybe hit a hard surface not so hard but uh, uh, in some at, at smaller extenses extents it will uh, facilitate uh, uh, prevention of breakage the lower jaw is here that's what you are talking about that it is able to move to moves up and down up and down to facilitate chewing uh, this part but the upper jaw this part that you're calling the maxilla the maxilla is immovable therefore it is like the lower jaw that is the mandible moves upwards to bring about chewing so that is what you're talking about and then down here is what we'll be having what we call uh, the fixation by the atlas at this point here to connect to the to the neck so that is all about the the skull and uh, 
the skeleton. Uh, thank you.